JavaScript is a programming language that is used to add interactivity to web pages. Theme developers will often use JavaScript to provide interactivity, animation, or other enhancements to their themes. While using JavaScript can help make your theme more engaging and interactive, it can also introduce potential issues if not used correctly. In this lesson, you will learn some best practices for using JavaScript in your WordPress theme. You will learn about using third-party JavaScript libraries, some best practices to follow when writing JavaScript, whether or not you should use jQuery, and where to find more information. If you need to use any third-party JavaScript libraries in your theme, make sure to check whether they're already available via the WordPress install. WordPress includes several JavaScript libraries that you can use. These libraries are included with WordPress and are available for you to use in your theme. A common mistake made by beginning theme developers is to bundle their theme with their own versions of the library. However, this may conflict with plugins that enqueue the versions bundled with WordPress. You can find a full list of the default scripts and JavaScript libraries included and registered by WordPress in the WPNQ scripts function reference. Make sure your theme is compatible with the version of your favorite library included with WordPress. JavaScript is growing in popularity on the web. And over the years, the language has improved to be able to do a variety of tasks. This means that for more common tasks, you may not need to use a JavaScript library at all, and you can just write plain JavaScript. Here are some things to consider when writing your JavaScript. Try to avoid using global variables. Global variables are available throughout the entirety of your code, regardless of scope. This means that you can access and modify these variables from anywhere in the code, whether inside or outside of functions. To avoid using global variables, you can use a number of alternatives, but the most straightforward is to use an immediately invoked function expression, or IIFE. This allows you to define variables in the local scope, preventing them from polluting the global namespace. Keep your JavaScript unobtrusive. Make sure that your JavaScript doesn't interfere with the content of the page or produce unnecessary errors. This means that your JavaScript should be separate from your HTML and should not rely on specific elements or classes in your HTML. For example, if you need to add a click event to a button, you should use the add event listener method rather than using the onClick attribute in the HTML. Additionally, you should check that the element exists on the page before adding the event listener. Use a coding standard. Using a coding standard can help to ensure that your code is consistent and easy to read. WordPress has a JavaScript coding standard that you can use to ensure that your code is consistent with the rest of the WordPress code base. Validate and lint your code. Use a linter to check your code for errors and potential issues. This can help to catch bugs early and ensure that your code is consistent and easy to read. ESLint is a popular linter for JavaScript and can be used to check your code for errors and potential issues. It is possible to configure your theme to use ESLint to check your JavaScript code via the WordPress scripts package. Ensure that your theme works without JavaScript. Ensure that your theme still works without JavaScript first then add JavaScript to provide additional capabilities. This is a form of progressive enhancement, which is a strategy that puts emphasis on web content first, allowing everyone to access the basic content and functionality of a web page. Implement an asset loading solution. Use lazy loading for assets that aren't immediately required. To do this, identify resources that are not critical for the content and load those only when needed. jQuery is a JavaScript library that saw an increased use in the early days of web development. However, with the improvements in JavaScript, it is often no longer necessary to use jQuery for common tasks. You Might Not Need jQuery is a great site that shows you how to do many of these common tasks with plain JavaScript.
For example, if you need to select an element by its ID, you can use the document get element by ID method in plain JavaScript. Another good example is if you need to make an Ajax request. You can use the fetch method in plain JavaScript, or better yet, the WordPress API fetch package. If you must use jQuery in your theme, you should use the version of jQuery that is included with WordPress. When enqueuing your theme scripts, you should specify jQuery as a dependency by including it in the dependencies array. This will ensure that jQuery is loaded before your script is loaded and uses the version included with WordPress. Because the copy of jQuery included with WordPress loads in no conflict mode, you should also wrap your code in an immediately invoked function expression, or IIFE. This prevents the use of the dollar variable by other JavaScript libraries from conflicting with your jQuery code. For these and other JavaScript best practices when developing themes, make sure to read the JavaScript Best Practices Handbook page under the Advanced Topics section of the WordPress Developer Handbook.